You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. In 1999, Hollywood took a deep dive down the rabbit hole of reality with The Matrix. There is no spoon. The Matrix was based on really deep philosophical theories. Since then, it's not just silver screen science fiction and pop culture that's been exploring the reality as simulation narrative. In 2003, Nick Bostrom had this 14 page paper entitled, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation? published in Philosophical Quarterly. The Oxford philosopher's simulation hypothesis suggests that there is a high statistical probability that our reality is a simulation by a superior civilization running on a powerful computer. We actually demonstrated that's impossible. Now, using complex mathematical theorems, a team of physicists at UBC Okanagan say they have debunked that idea by proving there is no universal theory of everything. And as a consequence, this is not possible. You can't describe everything that is true because of those rules as something that can be computationally derived. And since a simulation is computational, it's impossible to uh, simulate all, all aspects of the universe. The Adjustment Bureau skeptic in me thought maybe we should take this construct question to the streets. Are we living in a computer simulation? Yes, we are. Honestly, I don't think so, no. We do have computers technology around us, but I wouldn't think that we are all computer simulation as such. After stumping both Siri and Alexa with the same question. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. I went to the Oracle of AI, but even ChatGPT didn't have the answer. Perhaps they swallowed the blue pill. Not Faisal, though. This is one of the most important questions, right? What is the most fundamental aspect of reality? We already know some things. We know it's not matter, it's not space and time. And now we know it's not even computation. It's, it's understanding. So for those of you who were losing sleep over it, Faisal maintains, you're actually losing real sleep. Because there is a spoon. Travis Lowe, Global News, Kelowna.